What good is a story without some conflict? So on the last video of this project, a lot of you guys were concerned with the weight of these tanks affecting the wall. Now if these tanks were actually hanging off the wall, I totally get your point. But in reality, these tanks are actually sitting on the floor. They were resting on the floor when I marked where the brackets would go. So in reality, the weight of the tanks are actually distributed down to the ground and the brackets are only there to hold the tanks upright. Here's a kicker, a few of you guys actually did catch something that I absolutely agree with. My tanks, as you can see, are resting on gravel. It is settled because it's been there for a few years, but I totally agree that I should probably construct a more stable footing or base. Even though the ground is settled, I still run the risk of this eroding away, and then I have a problem. That's the hiccup we're going to deal with today, and the plan is to pour a concrete base for the tanks. For now, I gotta install some forms before we pour our concrete. I cleared some gravel up and set my form so that my concrete sits directly under the tanks. As you can see, I'm making a longer concrete pad and this is definitely for future additional tanks. Then I removed the existing tanks and then compacted all my gravel. Now I got the forms in, we are ready to pour concrete. On a side note, I am so happy that I am addressing this issue because I got the opportunity to actually disassemble the tanks. That alone gave me insight on how easy it is to make alterations or adjustments to this system in the future if needed. We're going to pour the concrete next. Thanks for watching and make sure you like and follow for more videos.